Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video I'm going to show you Regina 3D, a launcher that's free for Android. Let's get to it. Okay, so there's really a lot to talk about here, so let's get started. Starting off on the front panel, this is just the main panel. We've got a background that sort of matches this background. We've got a weather clock, and if you tap on where the uh, where the, the cloudiness is, you'll get actually a four-day forecast, and that can actually collapse, which is quite nice. Kind of like an HTC-style weather clock, but a little bit different. If we want to go to another home screen, we can swipe, and you get this really cool 3D view, which is, zooms you out and lets you sort of see all of your screens in one view. Or another way you can get from home screen to home screen is to actually move the dock on the bottom, which it becomes a slider, so that's kind of cool. So you can slide that to the right, slide that to the left. You can also add titles to your home screen. So over here, we've got the home screen. And over here, this is the Pocket Now Rules. I don't know why it's called that. Uh, home screen with just a background. Now, these widgets are pretty cool. This is actually the appointment widget, which is not showing anything right now because there are no appointments on this particular device. But you can hit the button in the upper right corner to have it rotate. Right now we're on the settings part, and if we rotate it again, it will just go to the listing of the number of appointments that you have. So let's go to the screen on the right. Right here I've just got a stock Android widget, and I can tap and hold and delete it, and you get some pretty cool animations when you do everything in this particular interface, which is one of the coolest parts about it. Over here we've got the to-do list, which is the same thing as the appointment list, really, uh, but set up for your tasks if you have any, and it will do that cool 3D rotation. And we've got some program shortcuts over there, and over here we've just got a notification uh, indicator to let you know if you have missed calls or a new text message. Now if we tap and hold on the screen we get some cool options. We can choose Regina widgets and there are five of them. Here's one that's kind of nice, the app manager. And so from right here you can uh, kill tasks if you want to. If you tap on one of them in particular it'll take you to the, the application info screen. You can force stop an app, go back to the home screen uh, from there. And you just saw another feature here. You can do the leap like feature that was a cool little animation. And from here you can delete home screens, you can add new ones, or you can even move them around uh, through this cool little interface. Another way you can get to this interface is by tapping the home button while you're on uh, one of the panels. So really cool. Let's go back to that other panel we were on. So here's that app manager I mentioned. I'm going to tap and hold and throw this in the trash to see the other widgets that come with Regina. So we also have Appointment, with you, which you saw, to do what you saw. Miss Notification, which is the one on the screen right now. And Regina Clock, which is that cool HTC Sense-like weather clock. Now, you might have seen that you can also add all of your stock Android widgets. You can add folders and shortcuts. So this works with sort of what you're used to using in Android. And if you tap on the second item here, uh, you can change the name of the workspace. So you can have it say Games or, you know, Internet Shortcuts or whatever. You can also change the, the wallpaper. And if you download the free theme pack from uh, the Android market for Regina, you get all of these really awesome backgrounds. So I'm going to set this as wallpaper. And you can have every home screen have its own wallpaper, which is very unique for Android, especially noticeable when you go out to this cool 3D-like view. Now let's go into the, the launcher, which has been done up a little bit. So what happens is the icons zoom in, and the panels sort of zoom out. You can sort of see them in the background. And we can sideswipe to get to our apps, kind of basic, and we can also tap and hold and drag and drop to put our icons on the home screen. Something else that's really cool about this launcher is that your icons do not have to be arranged to a grid. You might have noticed that this people icon is kind of between maps and contacts. If you want it to align to a grid, you'll get a little grid indicator, which is always really nice. Or you can just stick it wherever you want, and it doesn't really matter. You can have it customized the way that you want. Not many home screen replacements allow you to uh, go outside of a grid on your home screens. Another cool thing that you can do here is access a secret home screen. And you have to get the password right, and I think it's tap here and tap there. Let's see if that works. Sometimes you've got to do it a little bit faster in order for it to work. There it says, Entering Secret Workspace. So this is a workspace that isn't available unless you know the password. Kind of a cool concept. Not sure many people are going to use it. I mean, what are you going to try to hide on your home screens? But anyhow, this gives you a whole new set of home screens that you can only get to if you know the password. So let's go back to the regular workspace, and it says, Exiting Secret Workspace. 
Another thing you can do here is go to Preferences, so Regina Settings. You can change some things like uh, change the password for your secret workspace, endless rotation, change the names for your particular workspaces, change the 3D effect, so a kind of minimal amount of settings here, uh, which all help you to customize the way that this home screen interface works. So again, this is free. We'll put a link up. It's called Regina 3D. Uh, there are a few add-ons that you need to get to, for example, to get the weather clock working and also to get all of the wallpaper, all of which are free, which is great. So give it a try. Let us know what you think. And thanks for watching. That's it for now.